Hi, in this video, I will show you how to install IBO Player Pro on phone. So if you want to actually install the IBO Player Pro, what you can do is you first need to determine your kind of device. You need to make sure if you have an Android or an iOS. So for this case, since I have an Android, I'll head over right here to the Google Play Store and just click on this particular search bar and search in here for IBO Player Pro. So let's search in here for that. And then if you can find it, that means that it's not available in your region. So you can just head over to your search bar or to your browser. Search in here for IBO Player Pro. And then put in here APK. Then we have in here this. So you can just click onto this IBO Player Pro website. And then from in there, just head over and then see this right here. You can get it on Aptoid and onto a lot of devices. So if you can find it right here in the Google Play, that means that it's not available. So if you still want to have it, you can download it via Aptoid. So click on that and then click on this download option. And then just click on this download right here. And you can see right here that it will be downloaded right there. Once it's been downloaded, you can head over and then install it. Now, if you have an iOS device, you can just head over and then go to your Apple App Store. And then search for the app, which is IBO Pro Player. Then note the Mac address and device key displayed. And you need to do that for the activation. Now, if you want to actually activate it, we need to head over to the IBO Player Pro website, which is what we have earlier. So, for example, you already done with that. So from in here, what you can do is you can just scroll down to this particular screen. You can click onto the three lines as well and click onto this activate option. And then once you're in here, just input right here the MAC address as well as the device key that has been prompted into the actual application. Then from in there, you can add your MTU playlist or extreme codes, API credentials, and then just follow the on-screen instructions in order to utilize it. So that's all there is today and I hope this video helped you out.